Hello everyone, this is Ninja Guy underscore 12 here bringing you a match in the Full Armor 7th Gundam. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, this is basically becoming my new favorite support now. <laughs> I love this thing, it is fantastic, it is amazing. I regret not getting this thing at level 1 and getting the level 2 and 3. Because this thing is... An amazing mobile suit, and very fun, and completely broken. <laughs> Not really broken, but it is just so fun, and I love this thing to bits. But, um, before we just continue on, if you guys want to know the colors that I use, so that you guys can use it yourself, I mean, it's just my personal colors, but if you want to use them yourself, you can ask me what they are in the comment section down below, or on my Discord server. Link to that's in the description, and if you want to make any GB2 request videos this month, you could ask me on my uh, Discord server. Now, the uh, Full Armor 7th here is a 550 support at level 1. It goes with level 3 at 650. And I love this thing. It is amazing. It is fantastic. And I really hope I could get the high grade of this because this is one of my favorite suits now. Not just in terms of, you know, the in terms of this game as a support, but I just love the design, honestly. Because before, I didn't really think too much about it, but now I love this design. It is great. <sighs> Fantastic. But, um, enough for ranting about, um, something that I'll eventually get in person. Um, obviously, the former 7th has a lot of goodies, so let's talk about those, because... Or, talk about them briefly, because I've already mentioned them before in my last commentary, but, um... I'll just go over them again. So, obviously you have this, uh, specific beam rifle for the 7th Gundam. It is actually pretty good, um, though so I kinda wish it kinda acted like the Alex's beam rifle in a way. I wish everything acted like that, but then it'd be doing no damage. So, uh, there's just some things you can't ask for, I guess. Uh, it does have its own, uh, or not its own, but it has a enhanced beam saber with that amazing downswing animation that you saw, that kind of melee swing, which I think is the same as the, uh, Jim Cannon 2? I'm not exactly sure. I think it's the same, but if someone could correct me, then, uh, you know, feel free to do so. Um, so you have that, um... You also have a lot of sub-weapons. You have the uh, arm grenade launcher, which does quite a lot of damage, and we hit all three or four shots. Then it will stagger. It's quite nice. You also have an arm beam gun. You also have the leg-mounted uh, missiles, which those do a lot of damage. So best you could do is just hope you don't get hit by any of those, because they will hurt a lot. And finally, you have this large beam cannon on your back. Which, um, in terms of how it acts, like in terms of its stats, the cooldown time and the overheat and all that, uh, and the charge time and all that, it's, it's the same as the, uh, Faz's, uh, high, high mega cannon. But, um, the difference is this one you can actually go prone and charge as well, rather than uh, having to be crouch or stand still to, you know, charge it, you know? Making this a very fun mobile suit. Combine this with, uh, having the, um, what is it, force injectors and all that, makes this thing very fun. <laughs> it is so stupid good. And I love this thing, it is fun. Uh, 
I just wish I could use it more often because obviously I don't really play 600 and 650 all that much. I do occasionally do that, but I usually play 550 and below. And I don't have the level 1 of this thing yet, so hopefully I think, I hope it eventually goes to the recycle counter because I would totally buy this thing a level 1. <sighs> but that's just a dream. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, let's just continue on with the design of this thing, which, man, this design's really grown on me. I really love the design. I just wish in this game uh, you could actually paint it better, because as it is, the paint system is kind of hard to actually paint this thing in uh, any convincing colors, which is sad, because this thing really will look better in some different colors than its default colors, for sure. But just, that's just my opinion. I mean, obviously, the standard colors are just like granddaddy colors, you know? As multiple people are hitting me. That's great. And I hit that guy. Nice. Uh, still, this is a very fun mobile suit for sure. Hopefully you all get a chance to use this thing, because this thing's stupid fun. It is really good support type. Though... At its cost, I mean, obviously you have the GPO-2 MLRS, which that thing does have better Vulcans. Speaking of Vulcans, for some reason, despite this thing actually, you can see Vulcans on its head, but you don't actually use the Vulcans. I guess they're like dummy Vulcans, but still, like, you don't use Vulcans on this thing, which to me makes absolutely no sense. I mean, like, if you have them there, you might as well just be able to do them, or not do them, I mean, use them. Because there's just no excuse, honestly. I mean, having Vulcans, sure, it's not always the best weapon, you know, like, as a last defense, but, like, it's better than nothing, you know, instead of just, like, pranking people into thinking you have Vulcans, but in reality, you never did to begin with. But, whatever, that's just my opinion. But, yeah, this thing is just a monster, honestly. Um, I mean, obviously, again, you have the GPO-2 MLRS, which that thing's in the recycle counter. Not this thing, for some reason, yet. Um, and then, that was it, another support. Uh, pretty much at, like, higher cost, obviously, you have, like, the FAZ and the Zeta Plus C1, which those suits are really good. But this thing can still hold its own. And then you also have higher levels of, like, obviously, other supports, like the, uh, Mudrock that recently... Uh, not recent recent, but like, not too long ago got uh, a level 3 and 4 for 500, or 550 and 600, so, yeah. I mean, even the Mud Rock is still really good, so you have a lot of good supports, but this one is probably still an amazing one. Honestly, if I had to choose, at, uh, like, if I had them all at the same cost, uh, 600, the uh, Mud Rock, the GPO-2 MLRS, the uh, Zeta Plus C1, the Faz and the uh, Full Armor 7th. I think I would go with the Full Armor 7th pretty much almost all the time. And then occasionally bring out the Zeta Plus C1 because that thing's also completely broken. <laughs> Having a weapon that heavy staggers while moving is really nice. And is really OP. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. But that's just my opinion on some of the supports. But this is still in my heart. A really good and my personal favorite support to play nowadays when I uh, when I do 600 650 matches but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video and commentary and I will see you guys in the next video talk to you all later